Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Archie Nomad. In this today's tutorial, I will teach you how to create the roof tile over the roof in Revit. So as you can see here, we have a very beautiful 3D roof tile in over the roof of our Revit project. So you can place it almost in any kind of roof. So let's get started okay so now I just selected a new template Revit architecture metric template in Revit 2021 so what I'm going to do is now I'll just make a wall I'll just go here select and I'll just make it to level 2 and I'll just simply place a wall like this or maybe smaller yeah this one will be good I'll just put it in the middle and make it fine shade it okay so now I'll just first place a roof by footprint I'll just go here on the roof and select the roof by footprint so now it will ask me to in the lowest level I just select uh, level 2 yes then I'll go to this either you can choose pick wall method either you can choose the pick line I'll select the pick line because I need to give a offset overhanging offset of it so I'll just select an offset of 1 feet so now I'll just hover on the outer side it will select like this and for this one I just want to put the slope on the two side and the other I don't want so I just make it like this and I'll just uh, trim it because it's empty here so I just want to connect this one so press T R on your keyboard shortcut for trimming and then just select it and I think this looks good now I'll just go click OK let's go to 3d view now you can see here we created our roof we just need to slightly adjust a little bit as you can see we got our gaps here so don't need to worry just go and select one of the wall and go here and uh, select in the, uh, the entire wall in the entire project and then go here attach to the top of the roof so now as you can see here our wall is totally connected over I mean attached to the roof and I'm using uh, the basic roof of 4 in enamel for this project so now what I'm going to do is I will create in place mass over the two face side of the roof here and this side so for that what we are going to do is we just go into the massing inside tab and we are going to select this in place mass so just name it as it is whatever you want I'll just put it roof oops and then I'll just first I need to set its uh, plane first of all because we need to put the tile here and then this side so what we're going to do this in this way we're just going to here in the select the workplace and then we are going to select here if you hover your mouse you see there is a blue line it's showing I mean it's showing the face of it just go and select now I'm just going to uh, here I will just simply create a model and I'll go here and then I will choose this this as you can see it's uh, showing it's uh, now the face I mean the reference to this uh, this face so now yes, just select this pick line and for here I will I will just I would like to give that maybe 20 mm or 30 mm offset of it on this side only because the roof is uh, going to connect in the tiles is going to connect in this both way so it won't clash over it too much so it's according to your project you can give so for this one I just want to give you like I just give 30 mm so if you hover just slightly if you hover you can see there this uh, I think might be you can see or not let me just put in on hidden line now you can see their line is showing so now I'll just over here and select this one on the on side and then as I'll just put simply other side as as the bit normal and then here and then here and then I'll just trim it but it's too much outside maybe I'll check oops we forgot this way let me ah okay now I'll just trim it okay so let me check yeah here also we need to trim it and that's our also 
now what i'm going to do is i'll hit escape a couple of time then i'll just hover our mouse over here you can see it's showing the chain of wall or lines so just simply select this one so it will select all of it and just go here and create a solid form and for this form you just uh, uh, make a you can say a thickness of it 20 or maybe 40 mm i'll just select 40 mm hit enter you can see a thin layer of this mass is now created and the same thing I'm going to do to, uh, to do the, this side also so for that I'm just going to again on the model and let's change its uh, now uh, the face and I'll just go here and set a new work plane so select here now again I'll just pick the line and then I'll just select this one this one and this one and for here as we remember we need to give offset of 30 mm so okay so a little bit tricky sometimes so we just need to make sure that we are going to get closer so this one so now we just go here and trim it the uh, ex exceeded part so here and then here so now you can see and now you can just simply escape uh, hit escape couple of time and select again the same thing all all the lines it, it will pop up like this model lines and then you just create a solid form then give its thickness to 40 mm this side also so now we just created our mask on the both side of the roof so now let me just check it on the shaded part oh yeah you can see it's showing on the shaded a little bit kind of a glossy finish kind of uh, texture here so now we are going to up uh, load the family for the Spanish tile I'm going to use uh, Spanish tile for this project and for the tile I will uh, give uh, the the, uh, the family file in the description so you can download and use for your projects accordingly so let me just uh, select one of its its uh, uh, this mask and let me just over if you just just make sure that it should hover all over the mass not the corner okay so not the edges I mean just simply hover your cursor any of its uh, maybe you can just try this one um, you just need to make sure that it should select all of it it's like this it will select uh, select all of it and then you just go here and divide the surface and then you just need to go and uh, first of all you need to open the family or you need to load the family here in this uh, in this uh, property so then you can upload it here so what we're going to do is we're going to go this insert tab and then we are going to load the family so as you can uh, now I'll just uh, I just copied that family from my folder I can just simply paste here so I can load it directly so this file we're going to use for this uh, roof tile Spanish tile 305 and 305 m I'll give this file in the link in the description so you can download it easily so then I'll just simply select this one now our tile is loaded in our uh, profile so uh, I mean in the on this uh, project so now we're going to select this one the roof on this side we just uh, divided the surface for this uh, for this one I just want to change its from number to distance uh, let me just put 300 and for this one I'll just uh, I'll just put it uh, maybe 15 yeah okay we, we can adjust this one later also now if I just select this uh, this mass and I'll if the pop in the property it will pop up this uh, this uh, content will pop up I'll show you again if you go in the mass if you select the mass this this property it will show the pattern you can load from here over this uh, mass so now we are going to select the family we just loaded here so as you can see here in this one we just loaded and we're going to select this one so as you can see now it's loaded in our over the roof it's nicely fitted so sometimes it happens like uh, it's not it's not in the correct position as you can see here our roof is going uh, upward it should be on the downward because the water is going to I mean go inside of it so we just need to change its orientation for that 
So for that, you just select this uh, roof or the mass that we just created. And then here you can see the uh, rotating angle. So I'll put here 90 degree. So it, will, it should, uh, maybe 180, I think so. 180 will work for this. Mm, yeah, correct, perfect. It's now totally 100% good. And as you can see here, now it's going on the downside. This uh, the slope of uh, the slope of the tile is on the downside in the correct position. So uh, we can also check in our any of the section. So oh, we cannot just right now. Let me just finish this one, and we then we can adjust later on. Also, don't need to worry. So for this, this side, also I'll do the same same thing. So I'll just go here and select this this fa uh, this uh, this of uh, this side of the mass. And then I'll go here and divide the surface. So for the same thing, I'll just select the distance. I will put 300. And the number, I'll just put 15. I mean, you can change it according to you, whatever you want. And uh, we can adjust later. No need to. Oh, sorry. It's 15, not 41. Ah, it's correct. So now we are, uh, like I told you that if you if you just select this this one, then it will the property will show you the pattern so you can go here and select the same the same Spanish style we just loaded here so now it's correctly oriented I think yes correct because we don't need to change its orientation because it's already on a correct place so we can just simply uh, now finish this model We just need to wait a couple of times. Sometimes it happens. Okay, so now we can see our tiles is perfectly fitted over our roof, and it looks really nice. So now we're going to just make sure that it should be on a correct position, and we're just going to make uh, a section, and we just need to take a look. So I'm going to in the level one and make a section over it. I'll go here. Oops, it's not correct. I will go try to straight. Sometimes your file gets uh, too much, take time to load because this four file but it's, and the family profile is very, very complex. So it will take some time to, I mean, uh, load the into the project. So make sure that you should, you can change its uh, uh, graphical property to its hidden line or you can change to shaded. So you can easily, you know, then you can simply uh, easy to coordinate already as you can see here it's very free to work according to your specification of your computer you can change it so let me just put in shaded and go here I just created a section I'll go here in the view and I'll just make it to the fine and that's pretty fine as you can see here our tile is perfectly fitted over our roof that's why I, I, I that's why I given the 30 gap because we need to uh, connect uh, you can adjust this one also and in the uh, next video I will teach you how you can create the middle the middle tile of it which goes a straight a straight to this line uh, to this line also for for in the middle of the roof so I will put that on the next video list so for this video I just I mean for this tutorial I'll teach you just I'm going to teach you about how you can put this kind of a roof tile over the over the roof in Revit so as you can see we just perfectly finished this one and we can well we can also change its color if you go into select here and we can just uh, edit in place we and then we can select any of the tile and we can go to its edit property and we can change its material here so we can select any of it maybe probably I'll try some due to my internet connectivity is low that's why it's loading slowly mm, as you can see roof tile is there for a better preview I'll just select the normal one because I want to see its depth and its quality so I'll just select any of it any of it you can just select any other or maybe I'll just select uh, this one okay let me check this one hit ok uh, you can see it's really nice looking and let me just uh, I will change this color also you can see it's perfectly fitted and just me just finish okay so now I'll just change this one also the roof 
the structure of this material maybe something roof uh, yeah let me just put any of it or uh, this one maybe yes okay fine or maybe it, it will be get simple I may change this one to other color because you cannot identify later okay so yeah now you can see it's we just created a very nice roof tile on our Revit project so you can ch place this kind of tile in any kind of roof any design or you even if you create a roof by extrusion you can place this kind of tile over it by this just the same method and just by going to the mass and creating in mass place and then you can just you can play around with this tool actually so it's a, a very nice uh, tool so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, this uh, video and uh, so, so subscribe to my channel if you're new here and just give a like it really inspired me a lot to make more videos and supports my channel so I'll, I'll, I'll in the next video I'll just uh, make the second part of it and just I will create how, how you can create the middle part and I'll uh, make the video for that so stay tuned to my channel I'll be making more new amazing videos about rabbit and really fantastic and if you have any project related work and something like that you want it to work you can just uh, go to my email you can write me or you can get go to my website www.archinomad.com so yeah thank you so much keep watching my channel and thanks